you know. Hey, <laughs> smoke my dope, hey. smoke my dope, hey. for my bitch, hey. Smoke my dope. What's up? It's your girl Danny Ace, and you already know I'm here with my family, Intervision TV. And we got some special guests in this building. We got Mr. Click Clack and Pablo. What it do? What's poppin'? What's poppin', fellas? So, um, so you said Click Clack and Pablo, right? Yeah. That's okay, so where can people follow you at? What, what you got going on? I mean, you can follow us on social media. We really ain't that big on social media, to be honest. I don't really do the shit, but if you would like to follow me, it's click click four seven on everything. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, and that's really all you're going to find me. I don't do the Facebook and shit. I got one, but it's just a fan page. And yourself? And, see, mine is on Escobar, E-S-C-A-B-E-A-R, on everything. Just Escobar, everything. Pablo Escobar. Okay, so what kind of campaign y'all rocking with right now? Got we got a little campaign, man. We got a, you know, a few things going on. About to drop a project called Pip and Pablo. Okay. You know, uh, that's our collab project. Okay. Shit right here. We got a DJ out of Detroit. Pretty big DJ named DJ Corver hosting. We try to, like, reach up out the city because we got a lot of people outside the city. We done been on a few nationwide tours and shit. So. Okay. And where that's it? When? Um, well, we done been on, like, three nationwide tours by now. Okay. You know, we all across to. everywhere. If it's a state we've been to. Okay. So who y'all been on tour with? To. Uh, Casket. Uh, that's usually who we make most of our music with. Y'all probably know who that is. Okay. He with uh, Cash Money Records and shit. But that's that's a little brush. So when we go on the road, it's all his family. Oh, okay. That's real. So how long y'all been doing music? Uh, together. Uh, separate? Independent? Shit, I've been doing music forever. I don't even, I couldn't even put a date on it. Yeah, Ain't no date on it. A long time. A long time. <laughs> People used to be on the table in school and stuff. Yeah, since before niggas was taking it serious. Okay, so I mean, what made you take it serious? Motherfuckers liking that shit. <laughs> Just be honest. Motherfuckers like that shit, you gonna keep doing it. Yeah, true. And you? Same. People tell me they like it all. You know, gotta get the people what they want. That's real. So, I mean, like, what made you, what song inspired your music? You said, just keep it liking it. So, what's something, what's been something that inspired it? Shit. Sample. Like, you know, I don't think that's, you know, sample built a little different than most of them other cities. So. Okay, that's where you're from? Yeah. Okay. You too? Yeah. Born and raised? Okay. No, I wasn't born in. Okay, but you claim it. Raised. Yeah, but definitely you raised. Yeah. I wasn't even born in this country. I'm overseas shopping. Oh, okay, that's what's yeah, up. He from British. <laughs> yeah, he from British. That's real. Yeah. So what, what, you still ain't telling me like what actually, what the people catch on to with the Oh, well, the shit, uh, with the music, what probably made them catch on, we had a song called Circles back in the day. Yeah, circles. And that shit went crazy in the hood. They just loved it. Like, we had everybody whipping their hands like circles before niggas was doing any of these. Yeah, before Lil' B and all. Before all, all that shit. Yeah. And, and Casket was actually the one recorded the video. Matter yeah. of fact, that was the first video we released. He the one recorded the shit. Okay. On like a, a camcorder that they stole from school. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so like your first tour, how was it? First tour, we were opening for Snow the Product. Okay. Casket just got signed. We did shit. We were like 30 states, 20 cities. Like, no, 20 cities, 30, like, no, 20 states, 30 cities. Okay. And a lot of people. A lot of people. East, West Coast, Midwest, everywhere. Okay. And we, we was on a tour bus and shit. It was dope. And how was it? Like, so, I understand you said it was dope. So, like, what ex the experience it made you want well, to keep with going? Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, man. You wait in New Mexico and a bitch know who the fuck you is. You gonna keep going. So what was the first song that people besides circles? What was the first song out of state that made people that? Play? Hey, I know. Really, I know. really to be honest, Casket really had the most buzz out of state. Like a lot of the songs that 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 blew up out of state buzz was like songs we was on with him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But like. So what features do you have with him? <laughs> the hot ones, I tell you the, the hot, hot ones. ones. Yeah, um, he got a song called Jail Price did really well. Yeah, Jail Price, he got one with g called Guns with Trader Truth on. Yeah, that probably one of my most memorable verses. That's like probably the verse that opened up the door for me in regards to Casket fan base. Okay. Yeah, they really want not fuck with me till that verse. Yeah. And Trader Truth was on that song with us too, so I'm show that hell. Yeah, and I had Jelly Roll on my future though. Okay. You know, so. 
It's a big nigga. That's for the yeah. big boy. Yeah, you know Jello. Shout out Jello, by the way. That's real. You're a real one. Okay, so the song Pimp and Pablo. Okay, so Pimp, you changed your name from a new click like and Pablo. Now, you know what's crazy? Real nicknames, I tell people that all the time. It ain't a nickname unless somebody else gave it to you. Okay. That's my opinion. A lot of people get they self their own nickname. They ain't no fucking nickname. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I mean, I do my thing when it comes to women. They like me. They, <laughs> they choose up. They understand my vision. <laughs> sort of like, like a life coach. <laughs> so... <laughs> My peers call me Pinky, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what they're going to die to. That's it. Nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing else. We're going to cut. We're going to plead the fifth number. Okay. Like that. And you. <laughs> That's so. That's how I came up with the song Pimp and Pablo. Well, so, no, that's it. That, the tape Pimp and Pablo. Yeah, they his nickname Pablo and my nickname Pimp. Yeah. So yeah, pretty much how we came up with it. Could have both was so, fuck coming up with a name. We just we just gonna call yeah. it so. So what's the single in here? Uh, Smoke my dope. Smoke my dope. And what inspired that song? Smoking dope. <laughs> Matter of fact, I wish I could be smoking some dope right now, but people yeah. want to play with me. We in the studio where we can't smoke no dope. You know, sometimes it be like that, though, because you know, cool. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Ben is it, Ben is, man. Ben is it, Ben Can't disrespect Ben But, however, Smoke My Dope is the number one single off the tape right now. It's going crazy. It actually got me uh, verified on Spotify. Okay. That song by itself. So I got a blue check on Spotify. <laughs> yes, but I'm shocked. Gang shit. Gang, gang, gang. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, we got a video to that too on YouTube. Okay. It's dope as fuck. Yeah, smoke dope. So, we got a new Panamera Porsche. Yeah. Doing a real bossy. Yeah. Cause you know Casket just bought a Porsche, so we, we felt like we had to shoot a video on it. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Why not? So what can everybody? Smoke dope. <laughs> <laughs> smoke dope at the same time. So where can people get it from? Well, you said it's on YouTube. Well, if you want to see the video, it's on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, man. But so if they want to hear the, the song, everything? it's everywhere, everywhere. Amazon. The single everywhere. What about the rest of it? The rest of that, that ain't not you. Okay. That's exclusive. When did it drop? Uh, we ain't got no data. But real soon, like real, soon. real, real, real. As you can see, everything packaged okay. up and ready to go, but it ain't not you. You exclusive. Okay. Thank you. That's like dread power. Like dread power. Gang, gang. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, so when is okay since we can't know when? <laughs> 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 no, ain't no dread power. Yeah, okay, anyway, I'm gonna let it slide. Okay, time. my bad. I'm sorry. It's okay, don't be sorry. I'm sorry. I feel like I done did something wrong now. Okay, so any tours coming up for the album? Uh, actually, casket one time for generation. Casket yeah. just dropped his a uh, major project today. Okay. It was just released Generation, yeah. so I'm sure he gonna have a tour coming up for that. He always tour after he drop a project. So we ride on time. Okay, right. So you gonna You know. Gotcha. Finesse, 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 baby. That, that's what's up. That's what's up. So y'all always do tours with him? Everything has been with him? Always, always. Um we wanna set up some shit ourselves, obviously, but you know, sometimes baby still. No, so you out of Sanford, who from our area as well, Sanford area, Orlando, have you worked with? Uh, or who would you want to work with out of our area? Wait, which question do you want us to answer? Hey, first? both. Okay. Well, okay. Go on. <laughs> no, go ahead and tell them, bro. Oh, who we don't work with? Yeah, who, who have we worked with who or have, who we want to work with? Who have we worked with in Orlando um, and Sanford, okay. And who do we want to work See, with? See me, city? honestly, like me personally. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, um, I done did work with a couple people, but I don't want to say that because like the songs they not they ain't never been dropped, so like it ain't whatever. So. Okay. Yeah, like when it comes down to it, to be honest, like whatever. we down to work with everybody from our city. We have probably worked already with everybody from our city, but. We trying to expand, man, and a lot of niggas be stuck at home, and that ain't gonna do nothing for you. There's only so many people at home that can listen to you. You're right. You know what I'm saying? There's billions of people in the world, but I'm doing worried about a few thousand. So do you feel like you get more love outside of your city? I feel like music get love. Whoever like music, they gonna like it. Right. It's some people get caught up in worried about the city, the state, the state ratio thing. It's, it's people all over the world, and to be honest, hip hop's bigger outside of the United States. Right. Than it is out here. So if you had sense, you want to expand. You know what I'm saying. So with us, that's why I put my music on all outlets like iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, 
uh, you could go on the fucking Xbox and find our music. Title. Anything that's an online store, you're going to find our shit. So it's, ex it's accessible to the whole world. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, when it comes down to that city by city thing, I'm down to work with everybody. Will I be reaching out to work with somebody? Maybe. I have, but some, some people act too Hollywood. And I ain't got time for that right now, because I actually been to Hollywood before. <laughs> I did a show. So like, why am I acting? So like you remain city? humble. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna do. I'm. I'm gonna do I'm, my thing. You wanna fuck with us? We gonna fuck yeah, with you. But I fuck with a few niggas. Yeah. I wanna fuck with K Cooler uh, from Sample. Okay. I don't know. Probably the people don't probably know who he is. But shout out to him. I don't know him or nothing. I fuck with Lil Ron. But I like from the city. Uh, like, that's about it, man. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's real. Like you know. And everybody that I liked in the city, I went and draft picked them. Cause like KP, I had that shit from the beginning. So like with him, he was rapping in the city. I went and draft picked him. Cause I like what he had, I like what he was doing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Casco were rapping. I went and draft picked him. I like what he was doing. So when it come down to it, I I really already got the people I really wanted to mm -hmm. add to the to the situation. And the new people that I have added to the situation know who they is. So Okay, um, so so what is the situation? Slash um slash KB. brothers. KP is the situation. Keep pushing in the table. Okay. Okay, so that's KP, that's, that's whose situation? Your situation? That's, that's just the label. The label. You know, it's a few artists, about seven of them. Okay. Yeah, about seven. A couple of, couple of, uh, yeah, we'll leave that alone. Okay, we'll, we'll leave it alone. So we'll, we'll talk about it on another date, hopefully. So, what would you tell somebody that's actually, like, inspiring to be on shows and different things like that, since y'all actually have been on tours? You know what I tell people, man, and I might get a lot of slack for it. Promoters probably ain't gonna like I'm gonna say this shit. <laughs> but I'm gonna be honest with y'all, bro, because I'm not gonna let y'all just be like that leading them straight. If you paying for shows and shit and somebody tell you, look, I'm looking into the camera. If somebody got you paying for shows and shit, bro, bro, they cooning you, bro. Like, stop it, dog. You can go to that same place the same way that promoter got that building. You can go to that same building and ask them what the deposit is and throw your own show. The same people that came because the promoter told them to come, gonna come if you tell them to come, bro. Go find out, do your business right, and throw your own show. Put your name on the top of that block, and you promote it. You get your tickets, everything yourself, bro. Just being honest, dog. you ain't gotta do that. Bro. But if you wanna take that route, go ahead, man. We did it. I ain't gonna lie like we ain't never paid for no it's slides. Benefits it's, it's benefits to it. Benefits to it but we found out that it don't gain much than what you can do organically yourself. So, you know, when to you each pay for shows and stuff, it's not a real fan base. So you don't never know where you really at. You know what I'm saying? Like, you pay for one of these big artists, they'll pay for a big artist, you can pay for a big artist. And you get your 10, 15 minutes on stage. Yeah, it look good when you filming and stuff. But the numbers don't add up to what you're really trying to accomplish. Because the people didn't come for you, they came to see you. And you know how people treat you when they didn't come to see you. They, they ready for you to get the fuck off yeah, the stage so they can come you see know, you. You don't get the response that you want. You know, so if I be, I want to get the response that I want to hear. I want to walk out there and hear people scream. And I say that to say this like, let's put together in there, we could all come together and do a show. I ain't saying you got yeah. to have all the sense in the world. Uh, I woke up with all the sense in the world. I had to take a few bumbles and learn. But all the artists that's out here, we could all come together and do a show and everybody get paid. You, everybody. All we do is split the dough, we split the ticket, everybody get paid, bro. It's, it's really, it ain't rocket science. It's, it's easy, man. That's right. And that's for the upcoming artists, not the coon and ass niggas. Y'all probably don't like me no more, <laughs> nigga. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> No. Okay, so that's for the upcoming artists. What about the little kid that's out there that's just wishing and dreaming right now? The one that's beating on the tables right now. Y Listen say, yeah. to your mammy. Cause <laughs> when I was beating on the table and shit, I ain't had nothing but her. I couldn't go out there by no studio equipment. I want to get a mic. Get who bought it from me? My mama. So that's what you need to do. Your mama, your daddy, whoever in your household, your if you're a young nigga coming up, you want to make, make music, listen to them. Because that's the only person going to buy that shit for you. You can't buy it, but you say you ain't old enough to get no jobs. <laughs> That's right. And you? I agree with him. Because I ain't going to say nothing that might incriminate myself. Yeah, I mean, if you was, if you, yeah, if you was less of course and legit above, man, you know what you're going to have to do, man. You know, but you know, you know what you're going to have to do. That's the main yeah. thing. Invest in yourself. Don't yeah. be scared to invest no in yourself. No dummy trips. No, no junky yeah, stunts. No neither, crashing man. out, man. Don't crash out, oh, man. That shit man. pissed me off, dog. 
So, you take your shit off. so what has been like a big the one of your something that made you be like, damn, I wish I could redo this in my career. <laughs> 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 I guess um, it's a lot. Decisions. Okay. I made yeah. a lot of bad early decisions. Yeah. Okay. That I wouldn't have made if I if I knew better then. Like, uh I guess from a, a criminal's perspective. Okay. Like I'm in the system for shit that I wish I wasn't in. Like I got pulled over to, uh, the other day, for example. And um we in the system as gang members, but you know, we used to bang back in the day. Niggas ain't active no more, but the crackers don't care, the police don't care. I ask police what we do to get out the system, you know what I'm saying? How can I take my name out the system as a game up? And you wanna know what he told me? Hmm. Cracker looked me in my face, he said, just like you can't get out the game, we can't get you out the system, nigga. So as long as you in the game, as long as you in the game, that's as long as you gonna be in the system, man. If anybody know how gang relations is, ain't no getting out blood in, blood out. So with that said, watch your decision, cause they follow you forever. No matter even if you want to switch it up and do the best you can do, they gonna follow you forever. Like I got charges I can't get rid of. Ain't no expunging. Ain't no nothing. Ain't no none of that. And certain trips I want to take. Like for example, when Casket went to Paris, we supposed to be right next to him. I couldn't go cause I'm a, I'm a felon. I'm a three time felon. So I'm stuck right here in the country doing what I can do. But luckily I got the internet, right. so I still got the world in my hands even if I ain't around. That's good. Yeah. So did you get to go on that trip? Mm-hmm. Uh, Canada too. We couldn't even go to Canada. Canada won't let you in there if you got a DUI. Yeah, I probably had a warrant or something. He'd probably in jail or something. Yeah, that nigga be in and out of jail to be honest. Like this the longest he been out for for a good little minute. So I was able to get a mixtape up out of him. That's why that you know Pablo on the way. Okay. You know, so you gonna make sure you stay out so you can make sure. I don't got no choice. I ain't done. I don't be doing nothing. Okay, that's good. I'm cool. I'm living life. Like, you know. Sometimes it take you getting in trouble to realize that I ain't worth it though. You know, he was he was skating for a good little minute. Nigga been skating. Yeah. How we say nigga just caught his first series chart not too long ago. We been skating. Right. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes that would it take to get you right. You're right. Okay. Okay. So you got your you got your album on the way. We ain't letting no dates. Ain't no name slipping. Ain't nothing like that. You know what kind of your struggles is about. So, is there any kind of other features you got coming out? Any other things that you, any um, other projects you pushing? I really, we just working on like probably just dropping singles after that. I mean, yeah. You know, shout out to all the artists on KBE. One time for Guala. Who well, produced it? You know, uh, Dave, T- we got a few producers a few, on here. Uh, Tasty. Yeah, I don't know if y'all know who Tasty is. We got Adam on the track. He pretty big Adam actually. On the track. He, he, he do his work with, you know. A beat down, you know, beat down from Orlando. That's like Dr. Dre of Orlando. Uh, we got Quay Nero trilogy. We got HB on. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got HB. HB type. We got PMG. Yeah, PMG actually uh, produced the whole project for us. That's a a production team out of uh, this area, but they work at Plush. Let's do it. I'm about to put it away on. I see. I see. No, can't do that. It costs. Everything costs. You know what I'm saying? I understand. Them units is accounted for. You know what I'm saying? That's real. I got it. It's accounted for. But y'all just drizzed a minute ago. I know, right? Dang. That's the size of me already. That's real. Okay. Okay. So, what is the next thing you that's what's up. So we got a lot of producers out here. So we got to go and start doing some singles with some people. Oh, yeah. Anything else that you want to tell? Well, how, like how y'all can get He got a single that's wrong called Nat Turner. Oh, outside of this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just dropped a single called Nat Turner. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I did a video to it, too. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's on wrong. YouTube, too? Yeah. Everything on YouTube. Yeah, it's wrong. Nat Turner, it's great. Oh, okay. It's, it's great. great. It's great. Yeah, it's great. It's, it's great. great. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't like how the numbers doing, to be honest. But you know what it is? Sometimes it takes shit a little bit to catch on. You know what I'm saying? You can't, I can't be greedy. We just dropped the video. did over 100,000 views. Man, like that. Beggars fun. can't be choosing. But it'll do. It'll catch on sooner or later. Maybe because by myself, we had casket and the other one. So we had, a little, we had a little cheat code in XB squat squat cracker. 
we had to go to the back of the bus real quick. Yeah, but one time for everybody in KP, like I was about to say earlier, because I know everybody ain't get their shot. Okay, yeah, I was saying the seven members. Go ahead. Okay, Guala. Swift. Young Swift. You know. Click, clack. <laughs> <laughs> casket. Oh, casket. A casket, you know. Yourself. Me, of course, me. I'm David Ruffin and Noah's out of Temptations. <laughs> 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 nah, but I'm playing Dre Fresh and Yonka Boy. Yeah. Okay, so that's yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. if people wanted to do a feature, because I understand at the. Is it dropping this year? First You're damn right. It's yeah. going to drop probably within the. Okay. Actually, we got the DJ out here. He just moved out here. He yeah. moved out here strictly because of that project. Yeah, because of this project. And he moved away from Detroit. From so Detroit. now he live in Lakeland. Just but wait, yeah. Detroit, though, I would have got a fight a long time ago. You right. know, they've been on the down, you know, the deep line, you know, since the. They cost. have been hurt. But anyway, shout out to Detroit, you know. Aggression, you know, whatever. Days low South too. I like her. I do. Yeah. I do a song with her. Oh, okay. I do more than a song with her. Besides Cassie, have you ever worked with anybody else in the? <laughs> this nigga, hell, boy. Hell. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Has there any? There's been any other um celebrities you worked with? Did any features for? Uh, currency. I got a track with currency. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if y'all know. Everybody oh, know currency, know right? Currency. Everybody know currency. Everybody know. Yeah, I got a track with currency. It's only on SoundCloud though. Okay. I really tried the SoundCloud way, but I don't think it's for the pimp. Okay. Yeah, it ain't for the pimp. It ain't for the pimp, man. Like, I don't know, man. See, I, gotta remember, I gotta know which one I'm gonna call you now. It's gonna be pimp or clickline. What you wanna call me? That's so, well, how it goes. <laughs> That's how it goes. It ain't about what you want to say. Whatever you want to say. Either one, daddy. <laughs> Poppy old soul, if you talking to me. I, I hear you. I hear you. So, the people, when they try to contact you to do some singles, how can they get in contact with you? Hey man, that's another thing that we real big on our fans. So like yeah. you can you can speak right to us. We yeah. don't do that. Ain't uh, nobody controlling ain't nobody my Nobody control. My pages we nothing. do it all if by you hit me up, it's it me might talking. take a minute, but I'm gonna talk to you. Everybody. And sometimes it might not be what you think I'm gonna say, but I'm gonna talk to you every time. Yeah, so if you wanna work, just hit me up. Yeah, just hit me up. DM me. I just did a feature oh, for Instagram. somebody in Canada. Instagram. I got we got an email too, bookingkb at gmail.com. But like we really ain't into that email thing, and I don't think much people is either. Cause most people that want to work with us, they, 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 they the same type of people as us. You know what I'm saying? So so like, like, ain't motherfuckers ain't emailing a nigga like I want to do a track yeah. with you. Like nigga ain't on that shit. Man. So what they that on, shit on social media? Yeah. Social yeah, nigga media. get up under your picture like, hey, pimp, try to do a track. Let's go. Yeah. So, yeah. so you gonna reach back out? You damn right. You ain't Every just time. gonna have your fans just sitting there lingering on your comments. Talk to him if you want me to repost your music and I don't know you, I repost. But oh, not me though, I ain't gonna lie like that. <laughs> I, I, if I like it, if I like it, I do it. But if I don't like it, then I ain't, I ain't gonna, gonna lie. lie. Sometimes I don't even listen. And he yeah. tell me I should. But because I repost. You know why I stopped doing yeah, that though? Yeah, listen. because like to be honest, if I listen, I probably gonna be listening from the wrong perspective anyway. Not me. I stopped doing that because one time I had put out some. Some shit, it was real trash, and I, man, it's, 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 I feel bad. I got deleted, and I should never even post it. You know what I'm saying? Because so it's worse it to delete something. Or it was it's not somebody else shit. Oh, okay. I was just, I, I, I didn't, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I, I was Garbage. trying to reach out. Garbage. Me. <laughs> 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 See, some nigga, some nigga can't bring some nigga know up, boy. I'm telling. But straight up though, like I post that shit. <laughs> I don't pick and choose because I know my shit went always hot. Right. I, I felt like line came out. Came out of the room. You know, came out of the room. Got the came out that bit. Like, that's why I'm so glad. No, I almost got burned. <laughs> <laughs> I almost stayed in there too long. Bro, that's me. I almost stayed in there too long. Okay, Damn, that's man. real. That's real. So, is there anything else that you want to tell people before you guys get up out of here? I mean, pretty much, stay on the lookout, man. We ain't playing, you know. We keep it official. Everything official, Tisha. You can check my credentials. The name is on the wall. 
not playing with nobody. I'm not judging shit to cope with nothing. Keep your girl from riding me if you don't want to. So, yeah, I'm not going to break her, but I will make her. Okay, you Well, you know, it's a It's a It is what it is. Ain't no in between. What you see is what you get. All the time. 24-7. See, like, it's all the time. All the time. Even when I'm by myself. <laughs> yep. Even when I'm by myself. That's and if not, and if he by himself too long, he gonna call somebody. And he gonna bother them. <laughs> yeah. Sound about right. Yeah, I gotta pick up a lot of them phone calls. Sometimes I have good ideas. Ooh, pimp it. Ooh, pimp it. I had seen this. What happened, Pablo? Then I gotta listen to it for 30 minutes. Yeah, you look like 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 you look Lucky number 11, okay. you know. And, and the single is Smoke That Dope. Oh, Smoke, Smoke My Dope. dope. Yeah, I, I would like, I mean, I would like the single to be Million Dollar Nickel. Yeah, me too. That's what I would prefer it to be, but I'm no, sure that's what... No, we can't give out too many titles, right? You said it's... Oh, no, nah, I mean Million Dollar Nickel, man. That's, a, that's my favorite song. Oh, okay. I like... So, <laughs> I like Want to Be Rich. Want to Be Rich? Yeah, that's my... That's, how that's my... You know, that's my... You know, I can listen to that every day, faithfully. I listen to everything every day. But that it's hot no. start to finish. And then why you made um, Smoke That Dope the um, single? Because that got the video and the token on it. Yeah, okay. we got to know, yeah. know how to play, play the game. cards. Play the game. Play the game. Play the game. All right, well, you already know what it is. It's your girl, Danny Ace, and we live with Intervision. Good night. <laughs> Dripping, I be swimming in something Tell me how I feel to be with a boss